Hey guys, so this is um, rambling part two of my video that I shot earlier and I'm still finishing my oatmeal. Um, but so here, I, what I said in my last video, I was kind of doing a long 15 minute ramble on a thon about essentially telling you guys probably the, the biggest lesson I've learned that's helped me to change my life, my body and whatever and that is you know, embracing this idea that face your demons, face your bad habits, face the scale, because that, that data, that information, th those are the tools that you're gonna use that are gonna be helpful to you. And when you have a different attitude about it, it can change everything. And I'll tell you how, it, in the past 24 hours, how just that change in my mindset has helped me turn my attitude around well, I had a really bad attitude just the past day or so. Here's the thing, life's gonna happen, people. Just because, I keep saying, you don't learn something once, right? You don't go on a diet or start eating right and it's automatically, some people do, it's not gonna automatically be easy peasy for you the rest of your life. We slip back, we start to get into bad habits, it's the holidays, you know, whatever it is. So we can all get to the point where we're like, oh, wow, you know, I didn't realize I was doing that. But the more that you really understand this idea that I said in my last video, which is hitting your goal, it's a numbers game. It's a numbers game for each one of us. We have individual numbers games. What works for me as far as calorie intake and how much I can work out or how little I can work out or, you know, what, like, for example, let's look at my coffee. Um, what do I put in my coffee? I put um, coconut oil. Um, heavy cream and cinnamon. Some people might not be able to have uh, more fat in their diet. I can tend to tolerate a diet that has more fat in it. I really don't do well when my diet has more processed foods and you know carbs, the bad kind of carbs. So here's what happened the past uh, day or so and it's actually kind of been, I've had a couple of bad days. Um, really intense travel schedule, especially the past couple of weeks. But anyway, last night or yesterday afternoon, um, I had worked out in the morning. And mind you, I should also say this, the past couple of weeks is when this Achilles issue, maybe it's been the past three weeks, um, has started to bother me. Um, and I've never really had something that's uh, like a serious injury other than my shoulder. So the Achilles thing has been kind of haunting me or whatever. So I did my morning workout yesterday had a great day um, working and, and whatever, and was just anxious to go out running. And I said, what do you did? I was getting ready to go running. Oh, yeah, I was uh, getting ready to go running and then I was gonna come and do my yoga. So put you know my workout clothes on and I'm getting ready to go to a run and there's just something where I was just feeling fat, feeling fluffy, feeling like everything was tight. And of course I'm like running into my calendar going, why do I feel so bloated? Why do I feel so fluffy? And, whatever and I you know maybe it's I'm paranoid because I had pizza on Sunday so I go in um, to my calendar and I'm like when is my you know hot flow arriving and all of that and I realize like I'm five or six days away so why do I feel so gross and it just felt like my, everything that is not this tight was feeling tight but I'm like you, you gotta go just go you know whatever it is that you're feeling and I'm looking in the mirror I'm like oh my stomach's sticking out more and, I'm look, you know, once you start getting on a bad train of thought, it is, it's easy to keep looking for the bad stuff. Remember, I've said that in the past, what you look for, you'll find. So I'm like, oh, my thighs must look big too. What's that? You know, and I could sit all day in the mirror and then be like, oh, look at that. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at the fat over there. Oh. So I started getting a really bad mood, went out and, and I hit, um, hit the road running, literally. And then I start running and my Achilles starts acting up. And I'm like, mother of God. You know, and I was like, I need to, I need to run. I want to run. And so I kept starting and stopping and starting and stopping. And I wrote this in my blog yesterday, you know, in the midst of all this starting and stopping, I'm so preoccupied with how like heavy I feel for some reason, how bloated I feel. My Achilles is, is bothering me. And I'm like, do I run? Do I not run? Do I turn around? And I had this stupid thing going through my head of like, my neighbors watching me. They're gonna see me turn around and go back after I've only run like five blocks. <laughs> stupid stuff nobody's watching you and um so I you know I kind of finished and I, I did a much smaller run obviously and I was pissed 
the whole time I'm running, I'm going, oh, what, what is it I've been doing? You know, have I been doing less cardio? You know, what is it that I've been eating? I've really, and then I start going, oh, it's, you know, I've been eating protein bars again lately. I've been traveling and I've been doing this. So there's more protein bars. I had pizza on Sunday. Oh, and then remember when I got to get my, when I went to get my nails done, you know, I hadn't eaten. So I went to Burger King and I got a hamburger and I ate the bun. And then I start thinking about all these things here and there. And then, oh, when we went out to dinner that night, I had half a beer. Oh, and then I had half a beer at Amy's house. So start thinking about all these things and I should be aware of them, okay? That's, but my point is, is we're starting to make this huge like mountain in my head of like, wow, I've just been on a tear, a crazy binge, you know, thinking that I've just ruined everything. That's a mindset it's really easy to get into. When you get frustrated about something, it's easy to think, instead of realizing that you've come this far, it's easy to think that you've taken that many steps back. And then once you're back here, and that's the way you're looking at yourself, you think, well, screw it, screw it. You know, this is, screw this. I'm just gonna give up, I'm gonna go home and I'm not lying to you guys. As I was running and as I was getting pissed, which this is so stupid, it makes no sense, but I'd be lying to you if I didn't tell you. All I was thinking is, forget this. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna get my purse, I'm gonna go to McDonald's, and I'm gonna get a fish sandwich meal and I'm gonna go large and I'm gonna have it and I'm gonna enjoy it and I'll start fresh tomorrow. And then I'm like, no, don't do that, that's stupid. And then I'm like, it's just one meal. And I'm like, then the good part of me starts arguing inside. And I'm like, well, you know what? If I go and have a cheat meal after I've done that, I'm adding, you know, 1200 calories. Versus if I go home and have some egg whites and oatmeal, which is just as yummy to me, then I'm having, you know, three or 400 calories. And so, you know, I got home and I'm like, no one's gonna know, you know? Cause there's always that shameful thing of you're like, well, kind of have people, I have to be a good example to people, right? I have to Instagram what I'm doing. I can't Instagram that I'm being so bad. So I count, you know, I'm arguing with myself on the way in and I didn't, I did not go and get McDonald's. I would tell you guys if I did. I just told you about the, the beers and, and, and pizza. But, you know, I came in, I, I didn't like how I felt in my workout clothes. I don't know what the deal was, but I got over myself and I'm like, you need to chill. You need to chill out. I popped a movie in. I elevated my leg because I asked in, in one of my groups, I'm like, what do I do about this Achilles thing? So they said, elevate it and you can't run. And so then I'm, you know, I started to sit here while I was watching the movie and I'm thinking, oh, I can't run. I can't run. And I, you know, I started to think of worst case scenarios. Guess what? If I can't run, I do other cardio. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna focus more heavily on my weight training, which I needed to do anyway. And I'm gonna see Corey today, I'm gonna to have him look at my, uh, at my Achilles, and we will get through this. It hasn't been like a horrible injury. I was talking to a couple of people that have really jacked their Achilles, and they said, you know, there was a moment in time where they heard it pop, and it was crazy, and then they had to wear a brace and all that. I am not going there. Um, but anyway, back to this whole idea of, you know, looking at yourself like you're a science project and embracing, you know, embracing, evaluating yourself, I guess is what I'm, I'm saying. What happened to me in the past 24 hours, if that would have happened to me last year, I would be probably on a binge right now. And when I say binge, my version of, you know, binging is that I would have given up. I would have said, oh, I'm taking the rest of the week off. I would have been like, I'm gonna have what I want to eat. You know, I'm gonna take it easy this week. And then I'd probably go to Borders or Barnes and Noble or whatever. I'd buy some new diet book, get a bunch of new oxygen magazines. <laughs> All these things I'm saying are out of business now. Um, and, and I would have been like, I'm gonna start really fresh on Monday, which is, I don't do that anymore because you know what? Yeah, I was bloated last night. Yeah, I was feeling fluffy, but guess what? I got up this morning and I put my clothes on, which is pretty much, I've got like this one top in about 17 different, not colors, but I've got like 17 different versions of the same top. You know what I'm saying. So I put like the same clothes on, not the same dirty clothes as last night, but the same, you know, like I have probably 20 pairs of these atomic black pants. Put the same pants on and I was like, I feel and look so much lighter than I did last night. So it could have just been my perception. It could have been that I was bloated, who knows? All I know is that I got up today and I had a much better attitude about looking in the mirror and I did my workout. My Achilles is definitely still an issue. That as I was doing my workout today, I'm like, this is what I need to get across to people because you're gonna have these moments. If you're just starting or if you have started on your, your fitness journey and you hit a plateau, 
don't look at everything as it's overwhelming, this is only me, um, there's no way I can get past this. I've had all of those feelings and what I'm telling you is they're not true. And the more that you embrace looking at yourself, the more that you embrace measuring yourself, getting on the scale, or doing what I'm doing right now, which is to go, okay, you know what? I'm feeling a little fluffy. I'm feeling, you know, whatever. Sometimes you might not want to take a step back and go, okay, let me, let me think about the week before and the week before. What did I eat? How many workouts did I get in? You know, what are the, what are my cheat meals that I've had? How many of them have there been? The more that you can shine the light on yourself and, and not get depressed about it, you kind of might want to go, gosh, why did I do that? But the more that you see it, then you realize, okay, wait a second. Because now I know what I've done, maybe, you know, at my age, I'm 44, okay? So at my age, the ability for me to maybe feel a little fluffy, gain a few pounds fast, that's a lot easier than, you guys know, I've lost 20 pounds this year, but every single pound was like, <laughs> half a pound here, <laughs> half a pound. Like, it takes a while for this body to respond. But on the other hand, you know, I can be a little off my game for three to four weeks and all of a sudden, it's a little fluffier. I can feel it, I can feel it all over. Thing is, number one, I'm looking for it. Number two, I'm not, I don't necessarily if it's the word scared. I'm not scared to look at myself and go, okay, let me think about this. You know what, Kelly, you've gotten a little cocky. You've gotten a little sure of yourself. You've had a few too many, you know, a beer here, half a beer here, because you get to that point where you're comfortable. You get to that point where you've lost a certain amount of weight and you kept it off. So it, it can happen to all of us. You get to that point where it's okay to say, oh yeah, you know what, I could have a beer here or there. And then if you start to feel fluffy, then you realize, hey, here's the deal, now I know. I can only have so many of those cheat meals or beers or happy hour, whatever it is. And it could also be, and this is what I'm, you know, as I look back over the past three to four weeks, I've had a crazy amount of travel, an intense amount of stress, and my workouts have certainly been down a little bit because of that. When I was in Baltimore, let's see, I arrived on Tuesday, we had a workout on Tuesday. I didn't work out Monday, mo Tuesday morning. And then we did not work out on Wednesday or Thursday because it was nonstop. And then I think that past weekend, which is why I was starting to feel fluffy this week, over the weekend because of the Achilles and whatever, I think I've just been, it's been at least a week that I've been probably at 60% of what I normally do. So, you know, that plus a little, you know, fluffy eating here and there can add up. The good thing is, as annoyed at myself as I am for not being on my game, now I can look at that data and look at it as just data and go, okay, I know the things that have added up to this. I know the things I need to subtract and, and we'll turn the ship around and guess what? I'm probably gonna subtract a little more, add a little more, and then we're gonna get ourselves on an even better track and you're gonna see even better results because I'm determined to make the, the last part of this year the best results I've had all year. So, do you see what I'm saying? It's, it's a different mindset. Too many of us, we're scared to turn the flashlight on ourselves. We're scared to get on the scale. We're scared to really admit to ourselves what we've done wrong or what we've screwed up on. What I'm telling you is, you gotta look at that as like, embrace it. Embrace it, don't be scared of it. Be, be willing to look at yourself hard and when you, when you do, you just bounce back faster. Because guess what, like I said, a year, a year and a half ago, something like this would have happened. I would have ended up eating like a pig all weekend, sitting around on my ass watching girl movies, feeling sorry for myself, trying on my jeans, going, they're so, they're so tight on me, see, I'm never gonna lose weight. All of that is the bad stuff that adds up. You sit around and you, bad self-talk, negative self-talk, no activity, eating bad, uh, those are all three things that are never gonna get you anywhere. Whereas right now, I'm a little annoyed. I'm a little annoyed to go, oh, man, I've been off my game. I've totally been off my game. That's what I meant to say a second ago. But guess what, it's fixable. The more that you understand how your body works and what your equations are, then when you fall off, you know, say you've been sick, remember how, many, how sick I've been this year on several different occasions? You know, I've still been able to maintain this. Then you can just get back on track, you tweak whatever you need to tweak, and it's a mathematical equation versus looking at things and getting overwhelmed, feeling that it's out of your control and giving up. This is the change of mind that has helped me the best. The more that I can look at myself, not be embarrassed to admit to other people what I've done, not think that I'm in this alone, not think that it's impossible. The more you change that attitude, 
everything in your life is going to change. And it took me 30 minutes of rambling on to tell you that story, but I hope you appreciate it.